Hey everyone, um, there's been some questions about how I set up my TV after I cut the cord. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of tell you how I did it and see if it works for you. Uh, the first thing I suggest you do is to purchase an HD antenna and a booster to see if you get signal at your house. Uh, HD signals are from all over the place and every house is a little different, but um, if you get a strong enough HD antenna and booster, you should be able to get most of the stations. You can go online and type in HD signals and put in your address and then it'll uh, tell you how far away it is and it may help you figure out which HD antenna you can you should get. Um, and then I'll explain how I set up the Roku and stuff like that. So uh, take a quick look, we'll get going. So this is the HD antenna I bought. It's an indoor outdoor one. Uh, I did a little research on them and it said if you're going to keep it indoors, try to keep it as close to the window as possible. I didn't want to put it outside mainly because I didn't want to run the wires. I felt like it'd be too much of a pain in the behind and it works fine right there. So I kind of have the cable wire tucked behind the curtain here and then it goes down to a splitter. It enters right here. Um, this splitter goes to the booster and to the TV. So this cord goes up to the booster, which is right here. Um, I'll flip this around because it slips. So what I found about the booster is that the input output on them is extremely important. Um, I got another booster that only had 300 MA and it didn't work on the output. Um, I had a 400 one that ended up breaking. That one worked. This one's 500. It works great. So the more the better. Um, you don't want something that doesn't have enough input output, otherwise you're not gonna get anything working. So um, this cord goes to the TV and it goes along the wall. I have it hidden behind this thing and then I have it plugged in to, I think it's another booster. Uh, it came with the antenna and I set it up that way. It just works fine. So I don't know how it worked without it, but um, I have that on there. So. This is um, NBC, it's HD, comes in great. CBS, works fine. You get ABC, you get Fox, you get a variety of other random stations too that um, also work. So that's what I use to watch like uh, regular TV, football and things like that. And then I have the Roku for uh, pretty much everything else. So. The Roku has stations on there that are private and there's other ones that um, are in the Roku store. So streaming channels, you go in here, you top free and you know, YouTube, I have pretty much all these on there. Um, you can go through all these and see which ones fit you. I don't watch a lot of the different news stations, so that's, I don't have them on there, but it's easy to download. You just click on it and it downloads. Um, and if you want a private station, you can go online and research private YouTube, uh, private Roku stations, and um, you can input it into your uh, ID on Roku.com and get it. So like, like Sagebin is a private channel, so you have to physically put it in. You can't find it in the store. Um, like, uh, what else here? I think. Hoopla might be a private station as well. That one's pretty cool. It hooks up to your local library. You can download four movies of books a month if you have a library card. Um, and there's different ones on here. Most of the ones that I use generally are the ones at the top here. Sage, Bin, and Down. These are ones I use more often than not. Um, some stations like um, CBS, if you want to have that channel, they charge like $6 a month for their content. So if there's any on-demand content to get, that's how you get it um, if you don't watch it on the HD antenna live. Um, other stations like ABC, NBC, uh, Fox, ESPN, stuff like that, like you have on your regular cable. Um, some of them you would have to sign in under a cable company's uh, email and password uh, to be able to access it. So um, the other, one, actually one of the other channels I use, US TV Now, that has a lot of the major stations on it as well, 457, and it has a DVR system on it and things like that. Uh, it isn't in HD, it's a standard definition, but it's free unless if you upgrade to the DVR, then it's like 10 bucks or something. Um, 
outside of that, I mean, like there's some stations like Comedy Central and uh, MTV. Uh, if you have a Comcast ID to sign into, they don't honor Comcast for some reason. You would need Verizon or DirecTV or something to get that content. So there's a couple stations that you can't watch, but uh, majority of them you know, are good. Um, for kids TV, my kids love this Happy Kids TV. They're, it's like nursery rhymes and songs and whatever. They're a little obsessed with it. Um, they like it a lot. They watch it pretty much every day. Um, and then you know, there's whatever station fits you. So if you like Christmas stuff, there's Christmas stations. Um, there is one station on here that I don't use, but um, if you really need a DVR, you can, I believe it's Tableau. This hooks up to your HD antenna and you can buy, well, you have to buy a DVR that comes with it. It's like 200 and something dollars for the DVR, uh, but you can record over the air content. So let's say you wanted to watch stuff on CBS and you don't have the CBS channel, you can do it through this. Um, again, I don't have the DVR, I'm not, paying two hundred something dollars for it. You go old school maybe and get uh, something else that goes with it. But you can do your research and if you know that's something you want to do. Uh, one channel that actually has quite a bit of content on it is surprisingly YouTube. Uh, you can find a lot of things on there. Um, a lot of movies for the kids that you find on there and stuff like that and just you know random things. It's quite a bit on there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's how I get it going. We have a Roku in every room. Uh, I have an Apple TV here and HD antenna in the basement as well as a smart TV. The Apple TV I use pretty much just to stream from my Apple devices like my phone and iPad. Um, pull stuff up on there and then it shoots it to the TV. Uh, it's similar to this. They have different apps, but it's not as open. You can't find private channels and things like that, which is why I kind of like the Roku better. I believe the new Apple TVs, you can do something similar, but I don't, I haven't experimented with it and I'm a Roku guy. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, that should do it for you. And that's how I got it set up. So uh, best of luck guys.